talk pragmatics for a second. Z-axis, that's the one that goes up and down. I've got to be able to get my cutting device down far enough to cut all the way to the wood, but all the glides and all the slides have to get up out of the way so that things can pass under them. I want about five inches of clearance. I built the machine with about nine inches of clearance knowing I'd have to give some of that up. The router I bought comes with a base. When you put router into base, it can only dangle out eh, about an inch. You add another inch for the bit, and that's two inches. The way the slides work, they want to go down this way and up that way. That provides you the maximum clearance. So the further down you go, the more wiggly that's going to be. I want to mitigate that. I want to mount this piece of angle up there. So when the slides are all the way out, they might be cantilevered, but this piece is still against the machine. I was thinking about mounting this like that. That would be easy and simple. The router sits in there, but it provides no extra length down here other than the router bit length, because you'd have to grab the bottom of the glide with that piece, just the way it works. I want it like that. Trying to think out of the box here. The router still fits in this sleeve upside down. That buys me about five inches of dangle <laughs> while having this thing still in contact with the rest of the machine. I think that's the way I'm going. axis is in place and <laughs> moving, running smooth there. So the last thing I have to do is the lead screw and get it wired and then we should be ready to run the machine. Woo! Don't let your meat load. If this is your first time visiting the channel and you like what you saw, I would invite you to hit the subscribe button. I do new videos every Saturday and Sunday showing current projects in the garage, and I do an in-depth feature video the first Thursday of every month.